In 2004, the 15 and 2 Patriots and the 16 and 1 Steelers each set off some offensive fireworks. The AFC Championship played in Pittsburgh promised to be no different. This season, Ben Roethlisberger skyrocketed to NFL stardom, but the NFL Rookie of the Year's first pass proved to be a dud. Eugene Wilson's interception set up a 48-yard field goal by Adam Vinatieri and an early 3-0 lead for the Patriots. Roethlisberger finished the day 14 of 24 passing for 226 yards. Then a Jerome Bettis fumble was converted into Patriot points as Tom Brady connected with Deion Branch for a 60-yard touchdown pass on the first play from scrimmage, giving New England a 10-0 lead. With three minutes left in the first quarter, Roethlisberger and Hines Ward kick-started the Steelers' offense with a 19-yard pass play that set up a 43-yard field goal by Jeff Reed, cutting the lead to seven. Midway through the second quarter, Brady again found Deion Branch, this time for a 45-yard gain. Brady completed 14 of 21 pass attempts for 207 yards. Two plays later, Brady found David Givens for a nine-yard touchdown and a 17-3 lead. On Pittsburgh's next possession, the turnover bug bit again. Rodney Harrison snared Roethlisberger's second interception of the day and returned the pass 87 yards for a Patriots touchdown and a 24-3 halftime lead. In the second half, Roethlisberger went from looking like a rookie to showing the poise of a veteran. His 34-yard pass to Antoine Randoel set up a five-yard touchdown run by Jerome Bettis, cutting the lead to 24-10. Bettis gained 64 yards rushing on 17 carries. But the Super Bowl champs wasted no time answering back. On the heels of a Brady interception that was overturned on review, Corey Dillon rumbled 25 yards to the end zone, putting the Pats back up on top by three touchdowns. Stunned but not out of it, the Steelers again cut the lead to 14. On fourth and five, Roethlisberger bought time with his feet, then found Heinz Ward, who tightrope the sideline with a 30-yard touchdown to narrow the score to 31 to 17. With the score 34 to 20 after the two teams traded field goals, Eugene Wilson's second interception gave the ball back to New England with seven and a half minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. New England offensive coordinator Charlie Weiss called the play that proved to be the death blow to the Steelers' Super Bowl dreams. And it was Deion Branch who delivered it. His 23-yard end around put the Patriots back on top by three touchdowns, 41 to 20. With 52 seconds remaining, Roethlisberger found Plexico Burris for a seven-yard touchdown. But the scoring strike did little other than change the game's final score, 41-27. For the second straight year and the third time in four years, New England is the AFC champions. Two weeks from now in Jacksonville, New England will look to celebrate before a packed house in Super Bowl 39.